As the city tries to take on problem properties with a new ordinance, opponents take on the city, saying it's not fair. KETV News Watch 7's Alexandra Stone is live with our big story at 6. Rob Brandy, this proposed ordinance holds property owners more accountable for vacant and abandoned homes. Today at City Council, a public hearing on the ordinance drew big crowds and big opposition. An ordinance to address problem properties now causing problems at City Council. Evil. This ordinance is evil. Crowds showing up on both sides at Tuesday's public hearing. And I hope you swiftly move to pass it. Whatever you need to do, pass this ordinance. The proposed ordinance would require all abandoned, vacant, and deteriorating properties to be registered with the city. Each registration would cost $500 and must include information on the owner, manager, or lien holder. But the city stressed Tuesday this is a complaint driven ordinance. You won't have to register until you're notified after the complaint. This is an ordinance that we've been trying to put into place to deal with a, a citywide problem. Assistant City Planner Jay Davis reviewing problem properties across the city, saying there are 878 properties on the city's demolition list. The cost to knock them down around 11000 for a home and upwards of 35000 for commercial properties. Most of that cost falls to taxpayers. It is time for Omaha to stop the deterioration pipeline. Strong support from Omaha citizens, many of them living right next door to these vacant and abandoned properties, citing animal infestation, overgrowth, and criminal activity at these problem spots. Support from the Omaha Fire Department as well, stating safety as the main concern. Over the last 12 months, the Omaha Fire Department has responded to 72 working fires in abandoned and vacant properties. There have been four associated firefighters' injuries as well fighting those type of properties. Plenty of opposition, too, saying this ordinance goes too far. We oppose the ordinance as written because it's simply too overbroad. And, uh, you know, why is Omaha still so segregated? I mean, this whole program this afternoon has been about Northeast Omaha, but this ordinance affects the entire city. And property owners saying they're doing their best and they don't agree with the change. You might as well just lock me up now because that's where I'm going. I'm not going to pay the fees. I'm not going to pay the fines. I keep my places. I work on them constantly. Now, after all that discussion, city council members ultimately decided to lay over this issue to take more time to work with both sides. It will be continued in November. Reporting live, Alexandra Stone, KETV News Watch 7. Alexandra.